Hi, I'm Rurisha, and in this video, we will talk about project estimation, analytical versus holistic. So far, we have been talking about uh, the analytical approach. We estimate the effort, time, and cost of a project from the bottom up sum of the project activities that make up the WBS. So the general idea is, okay, we, we, we do a deep dive uh, in the WBS, and then we will uh, analyze each part of the WBS. Then we get the uh, estimation of the effort, then the duration, then the cost. And uh, from the duration, we build the network activities uh, and uh, define the critical path and get the duration of the project. From the effort, we analyze the cost of each activity, sum the cost of all activities plus the secondary costs, and then we get the uh, cost of the project. Uh, but we can do it differently. We can use it uh, a holistic approach. What is an holistic approach? Is the estimation that can be done globally in a top-down approach using the same type of the methodologies as for the analytical approach by analogy, by statistical data, or by Delphi, or by algorithmic tools. So we, in a holistic approach, we estimate by analogy, by counting product features and using an algorithmic approach, such as function point analysis. There are others, but in this course, we will talk about function point analysis. Function point analysis is a method of measuring the size of software projects. It is based on the end user's vision of the functions required for the application, regardless of the technology, tools, or programming language used. So to use the function point, we classify these views in the following features, internal logical files, external interface files, external inputs, external outputs, and external interrogations. In this um, uh, view, for each view is given a different weight. For the internal logical files, the weight factor is 10. For the external internal interface files, the weight factor is seven. For the external inputs, the weight factor is four. For the external outputs is five. And finally, for the external interrogations is four. What means that uh, we identified the software requirements and we uh, categorize uh, into the one above categories, internal logical files, external interface files, external inputs, external outputs, and external interrogations. That will give us the idea of the dimension of the project. And from this, and using the weight factors, we calculate the UFPs and adjusted function points. Function points must become adjusted by the complexity. And uh, to do so, we will evaluate four general system characteristics, which measure the requirements that affect the application as a whole. Each general characteristic of the system is rated on a scale ranging from O, not present, to 15, strong influence. So the, the function point analysis and the functional vision, we must rate data communication, distribute processing, performance, heavily used configuration, transaction rate, online data collection and user efficiency, online update, complex processing, possibility of reuse, easy of installation, easy of operation, and multiple installations, we must rate each one from O, not present, to 15, strongly present. And then we can calculate the tec technical complexity factor, which is done by this formula, okay? And uh, dot 65 plus dot 01 times the degree of influence, which is the degree of influence, the sum of the scores of the 15 ordered characteristics that we analyzed before. 
So just to recap, we rate each uh, of these items between 0 and 15. Then we sum all the points uh, in the degree of influence, and then we calculate the technical complexity factor. Using the technical complexity factor and the unadjusted function points, we can calculate the function points. Then using uh, these function points, uh, we have tables uh, in, uh, that we can use to calculate the, the size of the project in person per month or, or in, a, in, other time, in another time measure. Uh, several studies have shown that the analysis of function points is quite consistent with reality. You can consult the tables to make the adjustment of the fun function points to the size of the project in the International Function Points User Group, IFPUG, and in this website. Just to note that uh, despite uh, the, all these uh, techniques to uh, determine the size of the project, the cost of the project, um, we must take into account the following. If we don't have a huge experience uh, on the technology and in the business area of the project, uh, we may our estimation can be quite uncertain. This uh, picture shows that you have four plus or four less um, uncertainty against your uh, estimations. Okay, and in the beginning, uh, in the discovery and analysis of the project, you are too far from the um, the the uh, the dates and the size of the project and that of course with the time during the project you will approach to a more defined and more precise uh, calculation and uh, estimation however if you have a lot of data and a lot of experience in the technology and the business area of course this uncertainty is reduced so but just keep in mind that it is better to estimate even if you know that you have some error associated then do not estimate it all okay